Thanks, man. Whatever you are. Uh, I'm just going to say a few words, and really, um, just to Larry Flanagan, our general secretary, is going to come on just after me. But it's also just to thank, uh, there's a number of people we need to thank, and it, the people we need to thank distinguishes them from the kind of people who are currently running our college. The problem is, as we all know, that the people running our college are utterly indifferent to further education and are completely disconnected from the day-to-day -day cold face experiences of both students uh, and uh, lecturers. So the three kind of people I'd like to thank, or three kind of groups of people, obviously the MSPs who've come out today, Neil, Sarah, uh, Elaine Smith, the Deputy Presiding Officer has been out today, councillors uh, who've been in touch, a whole raft of politicians, um, the support staff who are out today, uh, bringing us brownies up, uh, students who are, but I've never eaten so many chocolate biscuits in my whole, you may think I need to eat a few chocolate biscuits, but nonetheless, I've never eaten so many brownies in my life, and they're the people who know, uh, on a day-to-day -day basis, what the purpose of education is, and the, the value, the social value that further education brings to our society, so if we can call it together, we've had a, an unbelievable vote and an unbelievable a turnout today, a solid picket line today, right across all the campuses. If we can keep that together, because unity is always, I know it's an old day, uh, an old cliche, but it is our strength. Uh, and if we keep that together, we never pick this fight. But if we stay together, we're going to win it. Two weeks, three weeks, whatever it takes, we're going to win this fight, because it means generations from now, we're fighting a battle for generations of lecturers from now, in terms of uh, our conditions and the quality that those conditions facilitate for students as well. So thanks everyone for coming out today. I'll see you all on the picket lines next week.